Hey guys, you wanna go uh, catch a flick? Maybe something family friendly? I got snacks. I got snacks on snacks. You hungry? <laughs> Sneaking food into the movie theater is a very, very popular, hot, gorgeous topic. If you even Google it, there's all these different ways that you can sneak food into the theaters. And I understand it because theater food is really expensive, but at the same time, like, I really feel like there isn't a bouncer here. I've never been to a theater, I mean, I haven't been to one in a long time because I've been stuck at home, but I've never been to a theater where there's an actual, like, guy with a velvet rope there just like letting people in person by person. I know that they check your purse, so a lot of these things don't work, so you gotta, you gotta put it on the body. So today we're trying out some truly terrible hacks to get things in the movie theater. The first one here is by Woohoo. This girl's just sitting here, minding her own business. Two guys are sitting next to her going, oh, oh, oh. Oh jeez, wow, well, just look at the fun bags on that hose hound I've never seen. Oh yeah. Ooh, she must work out. She is a gorgeous. Focus on the movie, guys. She's just here minding her own business, trying to exist as a woman in this society. The girl behind is like a little jealous. She's like, oh my gosh, the other girl's getting so much more attention than me. Oh. It, is that a- it's alive. It's alive! She undoes her little zip and she brought her dog?! The poor dog! This girl went all the way to the theater, walked through, sat down, and her poor dog's like I, I, And she finally lets her little pup out. A movie theater is not somewhere that a dog would want to be because you have to sit there on your butt for like two to three hours. Why would you bring your dog? Unless the dog has really bad separation anxiety, but I'm gonna see if I can do this in a way where Twinkie is in my shirt and you wouldn't know, you'd be none the wiser. I'm making a sling of sorts for my dog to like sit in. Cause you gotta make sure he's comfortable. I just don't know how good this is gonna look. Terry was mentioning it's gonna make my neck look big, but big necks are the style. They don't really give you an example of how to do it, so. No, they don't. It's just kind of a bit. Question is, how did they do it? Like a baby or? I mean, that'll definitely make me look well endowed. <laughs> Come on, little wing. Twinkie is a little five pound dog. So this won't be too heavy. Drum roll, please. Now I chose a loose fitting shirt because there's no way that I'm gonna get this to look perfect. And he actually really likes being in blankets. So he does. He'll probably kind of like- He looks this. actually quite comfortable. Yeah, he's good, he's good. He actually might like this if we go to the movies. It looks like my chest is a little low. Oh, so cute, look at it. You can really tell how tiny his little head is. What do you think? I think I get caught for this. I really thought I could make it look real, but like, I don't want to put a bunch of stuffing in here. I don't want to make him uncomfortable. Wait, I don't want him to fall. I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. <laughs> okay, right. you take him out. That didn't work and I would never do that to my poor dog for an extended period of time. Cause like, what if he gets uncomfortable? What if the knot comes undone and he falls? What if, what if, uh, uh. Okay, this next one is really, it's really something. Let me tell you that much. This girl is going to the movies with ice cream cones as hair accessories. Why would you want to eat that? I mean, it works and these guys eating ice cream are like, that's a hairstyle. Like she looks kind of like scary spice. You know what I'm saying? We're going to try it too. But it's like you ruined your ice cream. If I worked at the theater, I'd just let him in too. I'd be like, you know what? I'm going to punch both of you in the face, but you work so hard that I'm gonna let you in. I don't wanna put an ice cream cone in my hair. However, you know when people have like those really colorful, pretty hair extensions? I'm gonna see if I can like make candy hair extensions and like braid it into my hair. It's probably a bad idea. What are these things called? Sour straps? Okay, I tried tying them together. I just can't do it, so I'm stapling them. You just gotta be, yeah, really careful when you eat these. If you forget, eating a staple, no one wants to do that, but this seems to be long enough, hey? Okay, so I'm gonna do some cute pigtails because you gotta trust a girl with pigtails. She like doesn't take herself too seriously. She seems pretty cool and nice. Oh, I hate all this sugar touching my hair. Oh no. Oh no, this is, this is harder than I thought. There's sugar everywhere. Come on, get in there. Okay, that's easy. Okay, this is a lot easier. I don't know why, but it just is. This isn't a very stretchy elastic, but can I leave it like this? Okay, I can. Perfect. I wanna know in the comments, if you were meeting me, I rolled up to the movies like this, would you think that this is like a look that I'm attempting to pull off? Or would you think that I'm just trying to beat the system? Now we braid. I haven't braided my hair in so long. Here 
there's sugar <laughs> flying everywhere. Okay, is it just me or is this like really cute? I feel like I wouldn't get questioned. Only problem is I'd definitely eat a few staples by accident, but like, I wouldn't want to take this out. It's cute. Do you like it or does this look kind of weird? I feel like it definitely looks kind of cheap, but like, it looks like I did this on purpose. And also I've got like hair oil in, so. I and mean, you'll accidentally eat your own hair. These like taste really good, but they also kind of taste like shampoo. I can't tell if I'm like tasting my hair products or if this just tastes like shampoo. Sometimes artificial color really tastes like shampoo to me. I feel like she's kind of slaying though. Or I don't know, I haven't seen this in full screen yet. I'm, I'm only looking at a monitor, so. Maybe it looks really stupid and I'm like feeling myself with this candy in my hair. Hopefully not. Taping food onto your legs so you can sneak it into the theater. It's creative, except when she gets up and walks away, you can see the candy bar sticking out. Let me guess the bouncer is gonna be like, get, get out, out of here. here. Yeah, why would you wear shorts with that? I've got a good dress for this, just for this occasion. Although it's a bit too dressy for a movie, but if I wanted to eat 12 candy bars, I think it could work. Okay, so I thought that this was the perfect dress for this, but I realized that like, it's very like, when I step out, you're gonna be able to see. So I have another dress that I think I might be very good. You think you might be very good. I feel like, like a femme fatale. There's something cute about being like, Look what I brought for us. A Bond girl. Yeah, it is like a Bond girl. Instead of hiding a gun, you're hiding Hershey's cookies and cream. <laughs> I think judging by how popular like this concept of video is, maybe like movies should consider lowering the prices in a theater because they do gouge the absolute crap out of you. Like last time, remember I had a burger? And it was like 15 bucks and the fries were like $12 for fries. $12, are you kidding me? Okay, my legs are like, I know they're not white, but like for me, they're very white. So it's very, very embarrassing. I was thinking about getting a spray tan. Actually my first time like having the VIP experience, I went to a movie with Azzy and she was like, oh yeah, I, I got us some VIP tickets so we could enjoy it. And I, I have never had such a good experience at a movie in my entire life. Like we had like these lazy boy chairs and there was a waiter taking my order. He's like, I'm here to take your order. It's still gonna cost $30 for a sandwich, but girl, I'm taking your order. Okay, so that's pretty cute, hey? And this is why this is the perfect dress it's because- Oof, disappears. I know, it's just gone. Oh, okay, wait, wait, let's listen to my leg when I walk though. Uh, what movie are you here to see? The crunching. Can you Sounds like it. Honestly, if you asked me, I'd be like, it's my pad, leave me alone. And then they wouldn't be able to bully me. At movies, they don't feel you up and down, do they? No, never. What? That's yes. the airport. Do a body cavity check at the movie. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying is like, all of these videos are acting like it's so hard to sneak food in. Like, I think it's only hard if you like bring a really big purse and put it in your purse. But Wait, otherwise, what? it's very <laughs> you bring easy. a really big purse and put it in your purse? Yeah, if you like bring a really big purse and put the food in your purse, oh, then okay. it's hard. I thought you were saying that you put a purse inside a purse. <laughs> no, why would you do that? I don't know. I love this movie. Anyone want something? Ah! <laughs> this clearly isn't the method. No, sweetie, I'm not waxing my legs. I'm just, ow! Just getting some snacks. Shut up! Want some treats? Yeah. All right, take them then. Ow! I waxed my legs for this. Hey, I paid for snacks. You didn't even pay for those. I paid for them, just at a different location. I paid the premium. Well, I'm telling on you. Whose fault is that? It's your fault. Don't tell on me. I'm telling on you. No. All right, so these guys, oh my goodness. This guy is using a piece of pizza as branding on his shirt. I mean, that's one way to do it, but how do you stick the pizza on the shirt? Like, could you, you could staple it, but then you're gonna eat staples. You could hot glue it, but then you're not gonna be able to eat it. I feel like you're gonna have to do something like very unsanitary and unedible to get the pizza on, but that's kind of hilarious. This is a pizza brand shirt. You know what I mean? Pizza brand. That was never stuck to his shirt because if it was, it'd be greasy. Whatever, I'm trying it. Okay, so I think on a t-shirt it wouldn't work, but like maybe on like a leather jacket that has a bunch of like, Denim jacket. Oh yeah. Maybe on like a denim jacket that has a bunch of like stuff on it and like patchwork, it'll look like it belongs. Let me know if uh, you can see anything unique about this. Terry was like, can you dab the grease off before we start? And I was like, fine. And then I went and was like dabbing my face and he was like, I meant off the pizza. My bad, sweetie. What do you think? 
Does it match? Does it blend in? Can you tell that I'm wearing food right now? Well, guess what? I don't eat pepperoni pizza. And you know, this pizza was just a decoy. You noticed the pizza, but I don't think you noticed the baby bell. If someone at the movie is like, hey, get that pizza off your sweater, I'll be like, okay, sir, sorry about it. And then I'll get in there and I'll get to eat my lukewarm, not very good, but always satisfying baby bell. Baby bell, please sponsor me, please. Sneaking food into the theater is a trend as old as time. Pretending you're pregnant, putting your dog in your shirt, gluing pizza to your outfit. I don't know about all that. Maybe it might just be better to like, you know how you like you pre-game before you go out to a party? Maybe just pre-eat before you go to a movie. That might be good. That pizza smells really, really good. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you hit push notifications and I'll see ya on the next one. See ya. Just kidding, I'm not eating that. Bye.